Hey there, good afternoon everyone. This is Trader Tim from over at eminimind.com. It's uh, the last day of February, 28th, uh, 2019. And uh, kind of not the week I was expecting. Um, we had a lot of news, including GDP, the Michael Cohen hearing, and uh, we didn't really get much activity at all. Um, and so I don't have a whole lot to talk about today trade-wise. I want to walk through the morning uh, and show you why I didn't end up taking any trades. Uh, Tuesday, I had one uh, small winning uh, long trade. And uh, yesterday, I chose not to trade because of the uh, Michael Cohen hearing. I was kind of expecting the markets to... Uh, get a little wild and uh, we really didn't get much of anything uh, if we kind of so I'll, first I'll zoom out and I'll go to the weekly chart make this a little easier to see uh, we were above or we we did break above the 280250 this swing high and then we have these other two swing highs back here about the same level 2800 kind of that big round number um, and we've been moving sideways. Whoops, four hour. I meant to do a weekly. There we go. Uh, you can see on the move up, you know, green uh, green candles, bullish candles every week of the new year. Uh, not necessarily making um, new highs every single week. Well, I guess yeah, all except for one week, we made new highs on the week. Uh, and so, you know, the, the market, while yes, we have this 2375 below us, and, you know, keep in mind that target is all the way up at 3215. I mean, that's, the market has a lot of room before it hits that target, but uh, we usually don't see the market go straight from a 50% to a negative 23 on this big of a time frame. You know, you'd expect some sort of gyration and pullbacks in the mix. So uh, kind of that V reversal that we see intraday all the time. And, you know, if you, you look almost uh, inverted head and shoulders starting to form, left shoulder, the head. And so you would kind of expect maybe a dip down here, something towards the 2600 area, maybe form a right shoulder. Uh, so maybe we go a little bit higher here and round over. And, you know, that's one scenario. Uh, if we were to draw a retracement, it puts us about 25.77, so somewhere in that 2600 area, uh, one possibility. If we get a little bit closer in the daily chart, you can see a little bit more of horizontal movement, not so straight up the last week. I'm going to pull the market profile chart over here, and you can see a lot of these um, point of controls are starting to overlap each other. We've got value areas that overlap each other up here. So that's good because it you know develops a support level or a resistance level, uh, depending on if we move above or below. And uh, that's really all we have going on this week. Um, all of these swing lows down here have not been broken. So that is what I'm kind of watching for is my first sign we kind of get these one day pullbacks one day pullback here's a two day pullback two day pullback back here you know one day pullback and then we immediately you know the market gets bought up again so all of these swing lows have held uh, on the way up so breaking as it stands right now if we came down and broke 27 64 25 that would be my first indication that, you know, we'd start looking for uh, to come up and, and retrace at the short as opposed to, you know, the market just going up in a 50% long, hitting the target, going up again, trading at the 50% and just, you know, basically going up in this tight little channel. We could draw it another way. And something like this. And you could see how we're just in this very tight little channel with low volatility. Um, but I don't think that's going to stay that way for too much longer. Uh, today, intraday, if I zoom in, really the last week, 
uh, almost the last two weeks, uh, we've been in these very tighter ranges where a lot of the day is encompassed of like the first half hour or first hours range and uh, more you know neutral days um, non-trend days that sort of thing so high and low of the first 30 minutes uh, I draw I drew up the retracement long the full retracement long and uh, then I came in here and draw the opposing and we stopped right at that so I would first let this long trade, the big long trade, and I like to see us break the 60 win to the short. Then I'll come in here and I'll take the very next long after the bigger long. So I'm not placing my limit order right at this big long. I'm letting the 60 win break, but of course that didn't happen on this trade. Uh, we sold off, so you know there was no entry there. Sold off, so I turned around and drew it again in the other direction and uh, traded at the 50. Now notice you know how this would have been an 80, if you would have used a blind limit, 88.50, um, you're risking a lot by putting your stop within the 61.8. Sometimes you get lucky and uh, the market, you know, holds on. Maybe it comes five ticks uh, towards your six tick stop, and you stay in the trade. But what I like to do is draw up the bigger retracement. Then I'll draw up the opposing. Notice again how we stopped right at the long, and then bounced and retested the short. And then we broke the 61.8. So I was thinking, okay, well maybe we'll get some movement to the downside. But then we got this double bottom, so that. Uh, caused me to pass on the short and so um, that kind of took us you know then we came back up and we uh, broke the 618 again so we had a long break and a short break and we just kind of kept doing that all day and so you know if you're if you're placing blind you're just placing resting limit orders here at the 50 you know you're just getting stopped out stopped out stopped out so rather than have a bunch of stop outs I'd rather you know be scratch on the day and, and not take any trades uh, you know in an environment like this didn't really get uh, any major higher low ticks or anything like that uh, like I said yesterday <clears throat> I chose uh, not to trade just because of the Michael Cohen hearing I, I felt like there you know, might things might get wild and and they didn't so uh, that's that's how it goes sometimes and uh, hopefully next week we get a little bit more activity you know I, I'm okay if we're range bound in this upward channel makes you know for really great swing trading uh, but I just haven't been doing a lot of uh, having a lot of day trades uh, this week uh, I did publish a blog post and uh, that's over at eminimind.com um, I'll put the link below in the uh, the YouTube description uh, it's uh, kind of a summary of a book that I've been talking about the thinking in bets book by Annie Duke um, you can check that out, read kind of some excerpts from the book and some things that I relate from uh, her career as a professional poker player to trading. And then, uh, you know, if you want to pick up the book or read it yourself, feel free. But uh, that's all I've got for today. I hope everyone has a great uh, weekend, and we'll talk to you next week.